In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use my mock-up scene creator. These scene mock-ups are available on my Etsy or Creative Market stores, and you can find the link at flatlaystudio.com. So on the left, I have Photoshop, and on the right, I have the individual digital asset files in this file manager. And they are all Photoshop files, or PSDs, transparent and clipped. So the first thing you want to do is choose the background and open it up in Photoshop. So let's choose the marble background. Now, the next thing you want to do is just determine the size of your canvas. So if you're going to be doing a mock-up that's um, on the web, then you're probably going to want to change the image size to 72 resolution and whatever width and height your pixels are. So let's go with the default 1200 by 900 and hit OK. And let's zoom that up to 100%. Then all we got to do now is just simply drag and drop the assets into Photoshop. So let's go ahead and do that. And if you want to scale them as you drag and drop them, that's uh, okay to do. So just hit the Option and Shift tool um, to just scale them in its spot. And you can roughly do this and fix it after. So now that I have all my objects in my Photoshop canvas, I can now rearrange them to what I see fit. You can scale them or rotate them. So now keep in mind that right now these aren't rasterized. If you right click it, you can see that you have the option to rasterize that layer. Now, if you wanna play with any of the color options, for example, you wanna make this book slightly brighter, you're gonna find that if you go to image adjustments, and you can't, everything is grayed out. You're not able to do that until you rasterize that layer. So what I suggest you do first is scale and rotate these objects to your liking and then rasterize them. And then you can play around with any of the color settings. So now I have my objects in place. And what we're gonna do now is add drop shadowing. And as you can see, I have not included any drop shadows or pre-made scenes in my files because I want you to have more control over your own settings. And depending which background you choose to work with, it could be light or dark, you're gonna have to adjust each opacity setting in the drop shadow um, blending options anyway. So my tip on drop shadows is to not overdo the drop shadows in distance, size, and spread in the drop shadow settings. So for example, this plant here is gonna have a different drop shadow depth than say this pen. So what you wanna do is customize the drop shadow for each object. So let's go ahead and do the plant drop shadow. So let's right click on the succulent layer and hit blending options. Go to drop shadow, make this normal. You don't want the drop shadows to be too dark. You want them to be as realistic looking as you can. So let's make this 50% opacity and let's just do 15 distance, five and 15 again. So let's just blur this out a tiny bit more. And just play around with the settings. And then once you're done, hit okay. So now if I'm gonna apply the same drop shadow to the pen, it's gonna look a little bit off. So I'm just gonna show you. You can right click on this layer and hit copy layer style. Click on the pen layer, right click and hit paste layer style and it's gonna paste that same drop shadow effect. So there you go, you can see that it looks way off. So let's go into that pen drop shadow option and just double click on that. And we can make the distance slightly shorter. So let's say five and five spread and perhaps five size. So that looks a little bit better. And once you're happy, click OK. So let's find like objects such as the pen. Um, that would probably be the phone and the mouse and perhaps the chargers and the paper clips. So just copy the stylus layer style and just click on the mouse and then you can hit shift to select other objects. 
and then right click on these ones as you can see they're all selected right click and hit paste layer style and it's going to paste them all on these other layers and you could probably do it with the glasses and these two books and probably the iPad. So let's just do that. So everything has a drop shadow. Now the only thing is the coffee and I would probably say that the plant and the coffee are similar. So let's copy the plant drop shadow and paste it into the coffee. So there you go. There's your final composition. And again, you can add your own text or image to the iPad and to the iPhone. However, if you want to use the Smart Object option, you're going to have to open these files up on their own. And you can follow my other tutorial on how to insert your images into these tech devices using the Smart Object layer. And then once you do that, you can copy them into this file. And again, take your time to do proper drop shadowing because this will ensure that you have a realistic looking flat lay and not a copy and paste job for each layer where the objects look all weird and floating due to incorrect drop shadow application. So just take a step back and look at your final composition and say, hey, does this look real or does this look fake? So go through each layer and do proper shadows. That's my quick tip. Feel free to visit my website at thisdesigngirl.com for more free tutorials.